Well, as we head into the hot summer months, something you need to know about if you're expecting a COVID test in the mail, our heat could make those tests unreliable. Team 12's Nyla Charles tells us what to do if that test has been sitting too long in your hot mailbox. Linda Chensensky knew something was wrong when she received her five free COVID tests in the mail, courtesy of the federal government. I said, this is way too warm. The former biologist, who was immunocompromised, wanted to take the test ahead of her trip to Chicago. It was like put my hand in an oven to grab it. And then I said, this solutions can't be good at these temperatures. So she looked on the rapid test box for guidance, but found nothing. So then I called on the side, I called the number on the side of the box. They didn't know the answer, so then they gave me the um, number to Siemens. In a statement to 12 News, Siemens, the maker of Linda's tests, says they cannot ensure the accuracy of their self-tests if stored in a temperature above 86 degrees. We contacted USPS, the agency in charge of delivering orders, and it wouldn't specify the temperatures of the trucks that carried the tests. Chensinski says by the time she got her test out of her mailbox a couple hours after delivery, it was over 100 degrees outside. They're just shipping these out to these hot states like Arizona. And the Food and Drug Administration confirms there may be problems with hot tests. On its website, the FDA says long exposure to high temperatures may impact the test performance. The FDA recommends bringing in the test and leaving it for two hours in room temperature before opening it. But if it's been in the heat for several days, you should consider a different test altogether. We reached out to several different manufacturers, some of whom said their tests would be accurate in extreme temperatures, but each have their own guidance. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services didn't confirm which manufacturer's products it is shipping to Arizona. And there has to be some kind of uniformity. Nyla Charles, 12 News. Nyella, thank you.